Welcome to the very first edition of MTL's own video news magazine program. Over the next half hour, we'll be reporting on a wide range of issues that concern the company. As the shakeout in the bus industry continues, we'll have an overview of the direction taken by the MTL management team. As the big groups get bigger, they want to send MTL to the top of the league. If it's a question of survival of the fittest, just who is the fittest fitter? Stand by to absorb the shock. That's all coming up later, but first, let's meet the program host, Bob Greaves. Hello, before I set off on this first journey round your company, I'd like to thank those of you who've already helped produce material for this broadcast. And in the months ahead, we'll be bringing you MTL news and views from all over the UK. And nobody's going to get shortchanged if you've got a reasonable point to make, however controversial. But before that we get going, there are two observations I'd like to offer to you. The economics of it at this time is no fair way. Maisie Rider and Liver Bus would not be asked to join the Maisie Bus Liverpool Sports and Social Society. There is one very obvious constant in the complex public transport mix, and that's the fair paying customer. So, how do they feel about presentation and appearance? Customers certainly appreciate newer, cleaner buses. I think they're excellent, very good to clean and fast. Well, I like them to look clean and smart and me to sit down on clean seats and to be able to see where I'm going and where I've been. I like to look out the window and like to see where I'm getting off. Before, you couldn't see through the windows and you didn't know where you were getting off. You'd have to look where the driver was. And it's nice to see a lady driver. She looks very smart. She does. So, does the driver's appearance matter? How do drivers feel about the issue? Oh, I think first impressions go a long way. I think that's, um, it gives off a lot, really. If you go to work on tidy and scruffy, um, I think people treat you differently. But maybe, it, well, I try to be clean and tidy, and uh, it just makes me feel better than myself, basically. A nice uniform. That, that's a nice someone to look at presentable not just an ordinary t-shirt and jeans somebody who can be distinguished as a bus driver if everybody looks smart with the low cost and us i think it's a better idea for the public to look at and say well look nice smart everybody's smart and uh, i think you'll you get more uh, people getting on your bus for it and the uniform we've got at the moment isn't too bad at all it, you know it's reasonably smart um, discipline for whatever reason has become quite lax over the last 12, 18 months, and an awful lot of the lads, if they don't feel like coming in today in a uniform, they don't. And there's, there's no real hassle over it. For what it's worth, every news person, every television presenter, every reporter, even the researchers sitting behind a desk are expected to look respectable at all times. The argument being that you never know who you might be expected to interview. You dress formally out of respect. Now, if that makes the driver's anti-tie lobby hot under the collar, well, here's our counterpunch. Seconds out. Second round. Last month, MTL was asked to step in and sponsor what turned out to be one of the most successful international boxing tournaments ever staged in the UK. The setting was St George's Hall, Liverpool, acknowledged as one of the best examples of Victorian architectural splendour in the whole of Europe. Our cameras went behind the scenes to capture how the building was brought to life as young hopefuls from all over the world fought their way through to the finals and to victory. The event was superbly well organised and MTL staff from all areas of the company played vital parts in making sure that things went smoothly. I think from the point of view from MTL, to sponsor an event like this, it's something for all the members and all the shareholders of MTL to support this particular sporting event. In the future, from MTL's point of view, we could support, support other sporting events. And through the social where we have football, we have cross-country racing, we have long-distance racing. There's a lot of events that can be supported by MTL, but it's only by the growth of MTL and the strength to be able to afford these funds and to support these ventures. In the end, it comes back to the shareholders. Can the shareholders 
come out. And we want to support this event. We like it. We enjoy it. The tickets are going to be available. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. It's, it's a good point for us to support this event every year from Mercybus point of view, MTL point of view. From a publicity point of view, we couldn't get no better than this. We're going, MTL is now going worldwide. Every, well, there's 15 countries in the world that are going to see MTL on their faces, on their television, on the screens, on the papers. MTL is known throughout 15 countries in the world. It's a big response. The rewards, numerous. The MTL group have got an interest in the general public of the city of Liverpool and I hope it goes from strength to strength. This event in particular, uh, it's the second year the city has held this certain event and uh, it seems that this year they've been a lot more stronger size than it was last year obviously and uh, I hope the success that has brought the city reflects on the uh, success of the MTL group. I think Michael has proved not only himself but the city. He's made the city proud and no more prouder than his father standing over there. Now I've known Michael personally since he was Dean's age. Like this is a, another young up and coming boxer from Liverpool. Good lad, his first season in amateur boxing. Now if he can do what Michael's done and prove himself, this lad is the epitome of amateur boxing. We'll stay with the sporting theme a little longer to report on an event that's proved to be a great success down on Liverpool's Albert Dock ever since it was introduced as an annual charity fixture. 